me and my kicks, me and my kicks, me and my, me and my, me and my kicks, me and my kicks, me and my kicks, me and my, me and my kicks. What is going on, YouTube? It's your favorite YouTuber, me and my kicks, and this is my vlog of Sneaker Fest Chicago, located at the Bercho Center in Deerfield, Illinois, man. So stay tuned. As always, I want to thank you guys for watching this video today. I really do appreciate it. Smash that like button if you like this video. Also, comment down below what's the best shoe you've seen in this video. If you attend the Sneaker Fest or whatever, man, just comment that down below and we can chop it up in the comment section. Also, if you aren't subscribed to the channel, what are you doing, man? Hit that subscribe button, takes nothing but a couple seconds, and you'll be notified of when I drop future videos. Also, also, I just wanna let you know other shoe tubers and etc. know about the importance of a lapel mic. I'll be telling y'all about it, but y'all be snoozing on it. This event, like I just wanna let you know ahead of time, they had a DJ. He's playing the music so loud that like everybody that's like a YouTuber or a shoe tuber, they couldn't really get much footage or they couldn't do any type of vlogging of this event because it was just so loud. And like, you know, once you got that copyrighted music kind of drowning you out, you don't really want to throw up the vlog because you're going to get hit with that copyright. I had on this mic during that event. See for yourself, because when you see me talk about the shoes and et cetera, et cetera, yeah, I got like music around me but it's not completely drowning me out. You can understand what I'm saying. So for all YouTubers or shoe tubers who really like the vlog outside of like their house and stuff like that, make sure you get one of these mics because it will definitely save you in a copyrighted music, like people talking over you environment. But anyways, let's get into this vlog. I haven't seen these in person in a while, man. These are um, the Reeboks that Amber Rose made. As you see, got that fur on the upper. It's pretty decent. And also, she signed the box for this guy. It's pretty decent, man. These, these kind of flopped hard, but I like the concept of it. And I also like the fact that Reebok did a collab with uh, Amber Rose, which is pretty decent. Got the Big Sean Pro models, and he also got these signed by Big Sean as, as well. You rarely see these, like, out in the open. These go hard, but I don't know how much he want for them. Let me double check. He won a 1000 for these. These go. That's crazy. I'm, I'm guessing, um, you know, since Big Sean signed them, they go for some bread, but I definitely wouldn't pay that price for these, but just to look at these pretty nice, man. Haven't seen these dunks in a minute. Got the Freddy Krueger joint. They got a lot of uh, raw dunks over here. Got the skunk joint. I mean, I'm not a big fan of dunks, but I can appreciate the rare ones when they come out. Here go the skunk joint. And I forgot the, the colorway of this one, but this one pretty decent, too. Got a whole little nice little setup going on right here, man. And they got all the, the heat dunks right here, and it's like a little vault right here. Pretty decent. These gotta be like a custom or something like that. i never seen these before. They got Live Strong on the front. I didn't even know that um, Lance Armstrong made dunks. This could be a custom, but because I don't really know dunks like that. He won 1500 for him. It's gotta be a custom, Joe. But 1500 way too much for this shoe. I wouldn't pay that much for him. Got the Encore version of the Nice Kicks uh, Ultra Boost. I did a uh, review of the white ones. I'll put it up above if you wanna check it out. But yeah, these cold right here, man. I gotta get these uh, probably next year because resale a little bit too high for me personally right now. Hopefully they can go down and next year and I get a pair of these because these go crazy. But I really like that black midsole on them, man. Plus that gun bottom, these go crazy. Back in the day for all the uh, players, they used to do like uh, playoff models of their shoes. And this is the playoff version of the LeBron 7s that came out. Uh, this colorway, it wasn't the best colorway in my opinion. They made a little bit better ones, but I haven't seen these in a long time. This shoe like 10, 11 years old. These cold right here. Size 10 for 80 bucks, it's not too, too bad. Damn, 
Got the Yeezy uh, Yeechelis. And hand, these go crazy, man. I like the different colors this shoe provides. And a lot of people slip snooze on this shoe. But I definitely got to get this done next year. This shoe go crazy. The Yeezy HLE. They go the Yeezy 700 Magnets. Uh, this is the first time seeing them in hand. These pretty nice. These get, really give me like Wave Runner vibes. But I want to say like the Wave Runner colorway look a little bit better than this. But this is a nice little subtle colorway. I'm mad that I missed out on these. This is a nice little subtle colorway in these shoes. Definitely nice. They go to Tour Fours. I haven't seen these in a while. Um, that, um, that little patch right there, you can take it off, put it upside down, do whatever you want with it. But they got like a mix of Thunder Fours mixed with Cement Fours. I hope, hopefully they retro these one of these days, man, because this is a pretty nice shoe. They want 400 for a size 13, and it's kind of warm. Not too, too bad. I haven't seen these shoes in a long time. I hope Jordan uh, retro these. These are 17 low uh, UNC Carolina edition. I remember when these came out, I, I believe I was in like 8th, ninth grade, and everybody had these except me. Um, hopefully uh, Jordan retro these, because these so cold. Got like the, the little booty sock liner joint. These go crazy. Even though, as you already know, these like extra one. These like a one out of ten. But I had to go ahead and show you these because this history right here, bro. Like these was when Jordans were smacking. Everybody say um, Jordans past 14 is horrible, but these shoes are definitely on point. Got the off-white Dunk uh, UNLVs. And hey, these pretty nice. Like, once again, I'm not a big fan of Dunks, but off-white got to hop on every Nike train, man. They did the 90s. They did the Air Force Ones. They did the Jordan Ones. Now they're doing Dunks. Nike's just letting Off-White do everything to every shoe that they got. That's crazy. Up next is the uh, Michigan ones. Uh, this uh, this is group called Only Off-White. They buy and sell Only Off-White, and that is true. This whole table is just Off-White everything. It's crazy. Everything you see is Off-White. But anyways, this Michigan one, this one, I'll take this one. This is pretty decent. As far as this lacing go, it don't really match the shoe, so I, wouldn't, I don't really like it that much. I personally take the UNLVs because they match a little bit better. I forgot which school this one was named after, but this is the last out the pack. Um, I say this one is second best, then the Michigan's third, but here's an up-close look on them. Once again, I'm not a big fan of Dunk, so I wouldn't get these at all, but yeah, I know you got a lot of Dunk heads and a lot of people that love that off-white, so here's an up-close look on them. Got the Barry Sanders Air Zoom Jet 94, I mean 97s in the building. These are crazy. Uh, the size 11. I wish it was 11 and a half. I would have bought it off dude, man. He won't, He only won 190 for him. He's pretty clean, man. Only came out on Thanksgiving. He's go hard. Here goes some Halloween dunks. They made like a low version uh, similar to this. This came out not too long ago. I put a, a picture to the side of me so you can see what I'm talking about. I like the lows better than these. The lows have more like detail on them as opposed to these. People sleep on these KDs, man. I rarely see these at events. It's the KD4 Weatherman joints. These crazy. I got the KD7 Weathermans, but these go crazy, man. Got the little heat signature at the bottom. Yeah, people snooze on these, bro. This shoe is over 10 years old, man. I forgot the name of this colorway, but these go hard. Hopefully, uh, Jordan Retro these sometime soon, but these go crazy. Like the, I want to say that these are like the lilac purple tans or whatever. These go hard. All right, guys, that's the end of the vlog. Hit that thumbs up if you like this video. Also, comment down below what's the best shoe you've seen in this video. If you attended Sneaker Fest Chicago, whatever, man, just comment that down below and we can chop it up in the comment section. Also, if you aren't subscribed to the channel, what are you doing, man? Hit that subscribe button. Takes nothing but a couple seconds, and you'll be notified of when I drop future videos. In my opinion, the um, the event was okay. I probably give it a three, three and a half out of five. And the main reason I gave it the score is because like it was a little bit too small. Like it was maybe about like a thousand people at the venue, and it was very like small. And it was kind of hard to like you know move around people and get my vlog footage like I wanted to. Also, on top of that. Like the DJ was completely drowning out everyone. A lot of like shoe tubers came there, like Keep Pushing Kicks, Unbreakable Kicks, and a couple others was there, but none of them vlogged the event because once again, that music just completely drowned them out. And you know, how can you know people know about your event? How can the vloggers post it on YouTube if they can't really use the footage? So, you know, definitely they gotta give like a time in which the DJ just, you know, quiets down and then we can get our footage. 
or you know us as youtubers can get there a little bit early while people setting up and get our footage in then so it's kind of like a catch-22 situation but overall it was good times was able to meet some people that subscribed to my channel was able to get some new subscribers i'm just glad that the founder of sneaker fest invited me to come to the event and vlog it so i definitely had to throw this vlog in for you bro but as always man thank you guys for watching this video and peace